Well, kiss my ass and call it Horror Christmas. It's The Kiss, an obscure 80s voodoo gem written and gored up by the folks behind The Guardian, Ghostwatch, The Fly, and Gremlins. Monkeys hate it, but you're probably going to love it. It's Africa in the 1960s. Two girls are at a pivotal time in their lives as they go their separate ways. One goes with their father, one goes with their aunt. One girl will become a raging being that lashes out at the world with sexual powers that make men mad and cause enemies to meet great misfortune. The other girl will also be a teenager, but one with a demon inserted into her by a kiss from her aunt, who's actually a demon that requires blood sacrifices and new bodies to survive. Once the transformation is complete, you get a nifty black attack cat monster, which kind of makes up for the whole never being a human again and losing your soul part. That's a cute cat. Nearly 30 years later after the kiss, the non-demon sister meets a grisly fate in an overly complex Final Destination style death. Nearly 10 years before that movie series started, after the wild truck crash, a mysterious supermodel appears at the woman's graveside, meeting the woman's husband and young daughter. It turns out this model is the sister of the truck crash victim, the same little girl from the train ride earlier too, which also makes her the aunt of the girl, the young niece, who by the way, is in a bathing suit for about oh, 300% of the movie for uh, reasons. It's not only the audience who notices this young girl. Aunt Scary is also scoping her out. She has something in mind for her niece, and also something growing inside of her. A thing that pushes her to explore all of life's mysteries, especially those that are hidden in the dark. The supernatural model moves in with the two humans, introducing her niece to a new world of boys, girls, and blood. Whoa! Where did this come from? This movie is relentless in its entertainment value, but I had never heard of it. If it's not showing you loads of beautiful women in the pool over and over, it's using its ridiculous talent to do weird stuff, like making department store dummies incredibly creepy via expert sound design. Why is this scene? I don't know. Wait, mannequins are already creepy to you? You're not really impressed by that? Alright, well... What about the menace of the automatic pool cleaner? Apparently it's something rich people have that cleans their pools for them so they don't have a pool boy. Maybe you're not into pool boys, I don't know. You know, I never really thought about pool cleaners before, but this movie had me marveling at one as it crawled along the bottom of the watery depths of their pool. Huh, it's, it's fun, and I don't know why, again. Man, there's a lot of stuff I don't know, but I do know the music in this film kicks ass. The soundtrack features this bass synth riff that explodes out during the intro. It sounds like a stray that escaped from John Carpenter's music box at some point. It's just... Ooh. And while you're jamming out to these tunes, man, the special effects in this film are going to bust out things that you love. Things like burning priest corpses. Yeah! We also get amputations, body horror hijinks, and a freaky flying cat puppet that looks like a top goblin got rabies or something. I have no idea how this critter fits into the movie, by the way. It's another thing I don't know. But it totally justifies itself by giving us a scene with a great 80s horror one line. Fuck you, villain! Yeah, wow. <laughs> I have been raving about this movie so much, you're gonna wonder if that kiss gave me an STD and rotted my mind. Well, yeah, my mind is rotted, but I'm not too far gone and can say that the movie's not perfect. The Monster Woman's murder methods, they revolve around this strange voodoo ritual that makes random bad things happen in ways that benefit her, very conveniently. Some call this voodoo, I call it voodoo. -um. The monster relies on this power way too much, and it involves cars way too many times. It gives the impression that she's using the power of Chrysler to compel people to die. That said, it's great. I have to give the kiss four flaming Felixes out of five. Pucker up. All of these things are designed to frighten a monkey.